practice number 12 for the Saints today. They move it inside. They go in just shells. Brooke Kirchhoff for Doug Mouton. They were in the Saints indoor facility. Still a lot of uh, things coming out of today's practice. Let's start with Jameis Winston. What we heard from Dennis Allen today. Yeah, we did get some more details from Dennis Allen. He sprained his foot, Jameis Winston, and it will be day to day. He will not play in the first preseason game against the Texans. But I think the good news with that is that it's a foot and not an ankle injury mm -hmm. because that can be several weeks as we know. Yeah, and Dennis Allen said it a couple of times that they think it's day to day. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't think it's any big deal. Right. Um, and look, I thought Andy Dalton looked terrific he today. Did. If the Saints need Andy Dalton to play, I think everything we've seen in training camp shows that this guy still has a lot in the tank and he's got a really good set of receivers. Mm -hmm. And we welcome Marcus Davenport back today. Yeah, and we got to hear from him too, which I think was important. We mm -hmm. got to hear from him as far as how how he is handling emotionally and physically that finger injury and how that will affect him with his hands and in his position and it seems like he's I would say 95% confident in that he's still working to get back and is in that ramp up period so I don't expect to see him on the field I think for the Texans game no and I, I look I don't think Jameis would have played in the Texas game the Texans game anyway. Right. Um, no, I definitely wouldn't expect Davenport to get any snaps in that game. Not yet, but, but that was good. We also mm -hmm. heard from Taysom Hill today. And to me, the one thing about Taysom Hill, look, he talks so much in the last couple of years yes. about wanting to play quarterback that you wonder how bought in mm -hmm. he is about going back to just his jack of all trades role where the quarterback position is now out. Mm -hmm. and, and that is new. And he said, um, he, he's coming to peace with yep. it. He, he didn't shy away from saying he always wanted to play quarterback and that he still sees himself that way, but he's willing to do what the team needs. And he is an elite guy at that role. Yeah, he's always been a team player. And we also learned too, he's, remember the recent injury is right. coming back from a rib injury. So now he has a custom rib protector that he will be wearing under his jersey. Yeah, so and and, and he will be back. I don't expect him against the Texans either, right. but but he will be ramping back up and he's going to play a large role in the Saints offense. And the last thing I wanted to mention was that Mike Thomas looked yeah. ridiculously good again. This guy keeps making steps forward. I don't know how many passes he caught in all the drills mm -hmm. today, but it seemed like every quarterback couldn't see anyone but Mike Thomas because he just kept getting the ball. Yeah, I would agree. He definitely is looking more and more like his old self. He was not on the ground as much as he was a couple days ago mm -hmm. when he was starting to get physical in the indoor practices. So seeing that ramp up period, I'm actually looking forward. I hope he gets uh, several snaps in this Texans game because I want to see just where he is at it, how close he is to 100%. Yeah, I'm not sure he's there to play right. in a preseason we'll game see. yet, but man, he looks like he could. Yep. Just, just being awful careful. Brooke Kirchhoff for Doug Mouton. That's a look at practice 12.